Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Making of the Self Affirmation Project. So today is Thursday, June the 7th. I've been using self affirmations in my personal life as a solution to negative self-talk and was inspired to record an album titled The Self Affirmation Project. Before now, self affirmations are in form of spoken words that one speaks to oneself. However, my new album is a compilation of musical self affirmations that one can sing listen to and even dance to. Based on my research, it will be the world's first album dedicated to self-affirmations. So, I'm determined to promote this new project and go on a new album tour with my band. Here is my story, the making of the self-affirmation project. As you might have seen in last week's vlog, um, Femme and I went out yesterday to uh, celebrate the completion of the album and I had some sushi and it was really good <laughs> and I've actually not eaten since then because I decided that I was gonna right away start um, intermittent fasting and I'm combining that with um, a smoothie diet um, but I'm not doing just greens in the past I've only done green smoothie diets I'm doing both um, greens as well as fruits and what I've discovered is that um, regardless of what diet plan you're on whether it's low carb or uh, ketogenic or intermittent fasting or Weight Watchers, they all work. They all essentially work. What it boils down to is that it's a mind thing. You have to be mentally committed to it. And to be honest with you, I say and use my affirmations. <laughs> and that's how I get mentally committed because like I said, all the diets work. Um, but then the difficulty or the challenge is sticking to it, and um, being disciplined and being focused um, so the affirmations definitely help me um, do that so my affirmation for right now is I have the power to create change because I'm about to create change in my fitness level guys <laughs> so I'm going um, I'm going um, at this gangster as in I'm going to take the next 10 days to just do smoothies no food just smoothies and um, since I did the intermittent fasting yesterday um, and I weighed myself this morning, I actually noticed a little bit of difference. I actually lost a pound, <laughs> even though I had sushi, but because um, I fasted for the rest of the day and I didn't eat anything, but just drank water. And when I woke up this morning, I weighed myself, I was like, hoo, hoo, hoo. despite having sushi, I lost a pound. <laughs> so stuff like that really gets me excited. But anyway, um, so now I'm about to make my lunch smoothie. So I like to call this uh, Berrylicious because the smoothie has a whole bunch of berries. I have blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries. And I'm just going to blend everything all together with the coconut milk and the maca root powder. And guys, it has to be the gelatinized uh, maca root. Um, you can do some research about it, uh, but it definitely has to be um, the gelatinized version. So yeah, let's get started. I'm just going to put all this bad boy together and blend it. So I'm using half a cup of everything. So half a cup of the blueberries. And look something like that. Goes in the blender. Half a cup of the blackberries. Uh, let's see if I can do this as quickly as possible. Oops. Half a cup of the blackberries. That's about half a cup. Okay. Looks like that. That goes in the blender. Half a cup of the rice. These are the frozen raspberries, and I'm not picky whether it's frozen or fresh. I try to go fresh, but then occasionally, you know, you don't find fresh stuff, so go with the frozen. So this is the frozen raspberries, and then half a cup of strawberries, which is about cook three or four, four, four or five strawberries, sometimes six, all depending on the size. And then I'm gonna use one cup and one spoon of the macro root powder. Yeah, about one spoon. Looks like that. And 
I'm going to use a whole cup of coconut milk. Looks like that. That goes right in. And just so you can have some a little bit of chill, I'm going to add some water and ice. Just a little bit of water and ice so that it blends well. I don't really measure the water, I just kind of go with the flow. So that looks about right. That looks like it will blend really nicely. And just add some ice. Just a little bit. Okay, that looks good. And now we are ready to blend. Alright guys, so now that that's done, I am going to serve and drink. Serve and drink. So there it is, guys. I'm sure this is going to be pretty good. Hmm. Yes. Yes, 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 very good. You know, it makes it easier to stick to the diet to when you actually enjoy what you're eating or drinking. Or in my situation, in my case, it's drinking because I'm going to be drinking these smoothies for like the next nine days. So yeah, it helps when it tastes good and it's like healthy and you know that you're putting something healthy into your body. So there it is guys. I'm going to take some time to enjoy the rest of my smoothie. I have um, a whole bunch of things coming up this week. Um, tomorrow is going to be a very exciting uh, day for me because uh, my first single, I'm Bold, actually drops tomorrow and I've sent it out to some radio stations and I'm really looking forward to getting some radio airplay on the very first day that my um, single drops. So I can't wait. And I will definitely keep you guys posted. All right, see ya. Hey, everyone. So remember how I told you that I had two concepts for my album cover? And we selected Femi's concept, essentially. So I was thinking that I want to give this album the absolute best face I could possibly give it. So I had another graphic designer design another album cover just so I can see um, another concept and how um, I could play around with just different looks and different um, images and different styles. So in this other picture that I decided to use as a second option for the album cover, it's actually a close up because um, I feel like when you have your face, um, when you have a close-up of your face on al album covers, that it presents an opportunity for people to really see you and see into you or see into your essence or your, your soul. And in this other one, my eyes are kind of closed, so I was a bit concerned about that also, which is why I decided to um, explore another album cover. So now that second album cover just came out today and I actually like it a lot and I'm confused. I'm totally confused because they're both beautiful. I like them both for two different reasons. So what I decided to do is to ask for help from my Facebook friends. So I posted both pictures on Facebook just to see what people's thoughts are on both of those album covers. So I'll read you what I posted and then I'll read you some of the comments and I've decided that whatever the majority rule is based on feedback from Facebook is what I'm going to go with because I'm like I said I'm totally confused so I need help with this one so let me show you okay, let's stop that. okay so I posted on Facebook I said hello Facebook family I need your help selecting my album cover I was going to go with the album cover on the left which I call blue then another graphic designer Design the one on the right, which I call brown. Please help me decide which one looks more catchy. Which would you, or which would make you want to listen to the album if you saw it on iTunes, blue or brown? 
So let me just do a close up so you see both really well. So of course you've seen this one already. That's the first one. That's one like the one I call blue. And then this other one, which I really, really love also, is the one I call brown. So let's see some of the comments. I have Fee with me here today. Fee, mm. can you do me the honors of reading some of the comments? Okay. Um, so have... let's go. Let's. Okay. All yours. Move oh. forward so you can move forward a bit. Mm. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we have Shannon McGee. Mm -hmm. um, who chose blue? We have um, Andrina McNair Lipscomb. That's your aunt. Oh, okay. Angie. <laughs> oh, okay. oh yeah, she preferred brown. And there's a Lori uh, did we see Anika? Oh, I think I pronounced it right. Mm -hmm. Um she said my reasons are the blue has sunk into the background, which is the same color with the clothes. Not so not so catchy. The brown radiates a lot of confidence, focus and authority. And I responded to her, right? Mm hmm You said that's a thought. Mm hmm Okay. What else? Scroll down, what other comments do we have? Uh, we have Remy Momodu. Mm -hmm. um, That's my girl. Oh, yeah. oh, she said tough choices, that she loves them both. Uh, um, she said she suggested that we should use one for the front and one for the back. Okay. Uh, okay, else? so we have K-Sam. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a guy or girl. Um, they said they um, preferred blue. Mm -hmm. um, we also have Brianda Minix. Mm -hmm. She said blue. So she gave a thumbs up too. Okay. We have Cody pushing for greatness. Richardson, he wanted blue. That's your cousin. Oh, oh okay. Mm -hmm. um, we have Michael Donahue. He chose blue. He also chose blue. Okay. Um, Remy Kusima, blue. Mm -hmm. Bob, um, Mavi Sugar, brown. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Wuwa left. I'm not. Wait, I'm not sure if that's blue or, or brown. Oh, no, brown is on the. No, blue is on the left. So she chose blue. Um, there's. She said more catchy and appealing to the soul. Which one? The blue one. Mm -hmm. She said the blue one is more catchy and appealing to the soul. Okay. She said number one, which I also think is the blue. Oh, she said it's artistic, but it's too so. But two is soulful and shows affirmation and those beautiful eyes. Um, either way, it will work through. Okay, actually, I'm confused with this one. It says one is artistic, but two. Oh, okay, yeah, one is artistic, but two is soulful and shows affirmation and those beautiful eyes. Who said that? Chantel Basaka. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's one of Daddy's friends. We have Carla and Whitlock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she also suggested that we use one for the back and one for the front. Yeah, I thought about that too. But, those but they are two different color around. schemes, so it's going to be kind of messy to have, you know, two, like all these different color schemes in the same album cover. So. And we have Femi Femmes. Mm -hmm. She chose brown. She said, yeah, she said it's her favorite color. Okay. Um, we have... Jean, he's Abel Robertson. She chose brown too. Or Gianni, I think. Okay. And we have Yinka, Tony, Isaac, Abiola. She chose blue. We have Fumi, Nijoy, Akinyele, brown. We have Nikki Booker. I prefer brown. You look so fierce in that pic. Shows your tough but a but a sassy side. Okay. Scroll yeah. down a bit. Um, Devin C. Weed. We have a whole bunch of comments. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to get these many comments, to be honest with you. Scroll down a bit. Oh. Pastor said he'll let you know his choice on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scroll down. Yeah, see her comment, Paula Sinclair. Okay. On blue. I love the carefree look of that cover pic. Brown, them eyes. Yeah. Both pictures would do well on the cover, but I lean more on the side of blue. Okay. She said something about her father. Her dad said, my dad says. Oh, yeah. She, um, she said that her dad says brown. 
Because the eyes, because of the eyes. Yeah, because of my eyes are closed and the blue, so. We have gift, Amata. Mm -hmm, blue. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, Kathy Knight said that the blue shows self expression. Mm -hmm. Um, we have oh, Uncle Chickson. He said that he prefers blue. Mm -hmm. We have Gabriel Phillip, PG Brooklyn. He also chose blue. I think Hel Helena. Oh, Helena Flag. Okay. So I love both. both. Yeah. Tough, tough decision. But if I had to choose, I'd go for the brown. For the brown. You have Titi Bello. She chose blue. Oh, Angie. Angela. Our cousin in Nigeria. Oh, oh. She chose blue too. Mm, yeah. Well, I guess everybody's leaning more towards blue. Yeah, there's a lot of blue. Like I said, guys, I, I am definitely going to make a choice based on the general consensus on Facebook because I feel like when in doubt, turn to your friends <laughs> or your Facebook friends to give you um, the vote. So, And it looks like a lot of people are leaning more towards the blue, wouldn't you say? Right, Fee? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I think for the most part, we're going to go with the blue. Let's see a few more comments and then we'll make our decision. Okay, so there's We had a whole bunch sister. of comments, wow. Yeah, there's Daddy's sister. Mm -hmm. uh, she said the brown is perfect and unique. Okay. Oh, uh, well, we have Auntie uh, Judy Ma from church. What did she say? She said that she chose, yeah, she chooses brown. The brown? Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, Prince Babatunde, Olawole, Joshua, he chose brown. Okay. Um, Susie Q. Gaines says blue. She also said, um, makes me want to buy the album, the album right now. Which so one? Blue for me. Blue? Uh-huh. Okay. Awesome. Well, how many comments did we get? Uh, like, like, <laughs> like a hundred or something. something? Oh, Auntie Sovi. Oh, wow. What did she say? She said, um, the br yes, the brown cover is, is sexy. The blue is joyful. Yeah. Okay. Auntie Tolu, uh, I like white and blue. Oh, I yeah. like you white and blue. I think yeah, it was a blue, blue, yeah. Okay. All right, so we're going to just wait like another hour or so and see how many more comments we get. And for right now, based on what I see, it seems like more people are leaning towards the blue, which is what I thought I had decided to go with until I saw that brown. <laughs> so we'll wait until we get more comments in um, and then we'll just make a decision based on a general consensus. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, so I have decided to go with the blue. Most of the people on Facebook said that they prefer the blue, even though the brown got a lot of strong, positive comments because everybody loves those fierce eyes. And I love those fierce eyes too, but ultimately I want to choose something that has the look and feel of an album cover and captures my essence. And I think even though, yes, my eyes are closed and the blue, I think that the blue is definitely a stronger choice and I'm going to go with that. And most people went with the blue. So you know what they say, majority rules. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to post a comment on Facebook to let everybody know what my choice was. Uh, and I also want to take the opportunity to thank everybody that commented and gave their feedback on both of the pictures. We got a lot of comments um, based on what I'm looking like, looking at right now. If we had maybe about a hundred, about a hundred comments. Yeah, we had a lot of comments and feedback on this particular post. So thank you guys. Thank you, Facebook family and friends <laughs> for your comments. I really appreciate it. Um, times like this when I'm uh, torn about something, um, it's very helpful when you can post something, put it out there, and then people give you your feedback, um, which I found really helpful. So thanks. So like I said, I'm going to post my final decision on Facebook tomorrow and it's it's a uh, yeah it, it, it's we've decided it's gonna be the blue right fee so which oh, one yeah. which one do you prefer the blue or the brown oh well it's like a little bit in between because like the blue doesn't really show like 
confidence, like self affirmation is like the title of the album, mm-hmm. like the brown. But like I don't really see brown as like, like, like a bold color. It's more of like, like I'm not sure how to put like the brown into words, but uh, the brown is just weird for me. So if you were to pick out of the two, which one would you pick? Mm, yeah, I like blue more. Okay, all right. So my son picks blue also. So blue it is. All right, guys, so now that I have that out of my system, let me tell you a little bit about how um, I got here. So I hired a publicist about a week ago to write uh, a press release for me um, about the official drop of the first single from the new album. Um, And then after the press release was uh, written and approved, I sent it out to a whole bunch of bloggers. Um, And then yesterday, um, I sent out <laughs> my single, I'm bored, because we, we literally just finished it like two days ago. Like you guys know, we finished it Wednesday. So yesterday I sent it out with the press release and I also included um, the link to uh, a couple of the bloggers that posted my press release. And then lo and behold, today <laughs> we are here uh, and my song is being played on the radio. So that really, really feels good. So let me show you guys real quick. Boko's radio, they tweeted me, uh, now playing Janelia So and Bold. And then uh, before then, it's uh, Spins FM. They played my music like 16 hours ago, now playing Janelia So I Am Bold. And as a matter of fact, to be honest with you, I checked my email um, uh, like right before I came here or into the studio and a couple of radio stations also are interested and wanted me to send a WAV file because what I sent out was an MP3. So not even a couple, several radio stations, quite a number, like five or six of them uh, responded and a couple of them wanted me to send a WAV file. A couple of them wanted me to sign some kind of release or some kind of authorization form. So anyway, I'm just really excited because like I said, it feels really good for you to work so hard on something and then... You put it out there and then you get some kind of response or good reception. It's It feels really, really good. And this is just the launch of the first single. And it's it's doing exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted uh, me dropping this first single to kind of introduce people to what the album is about and anticipate what the album is going to be about. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, I'm going to continue to send out my MP3 and my press releases in mass numbers. I have actually a ton of radio stations, a list of radio stations that play uh, world music all over the U.S. and in Europe and some other parts of the world. Um, So I'm going to really maximize that list and just keep sending, sending, and sending, and sending, and sending out. Um, I'm really grateful to the publicist. I think that she did an excellent job writing a press release, release that really captures my project and what I'm trying to do and I think that press release has some magical powers <laughs> because it seems like whenever people read that press release and they, they listen to my music it's like they want to be part of this project so guys yes I'm going to continue to keep you posted on the project we still have a ton of work to do a ton and ton of work to do that's just like one aspect of it but now we have to worry about you know shooting the music video and um, promoting the album even further because just because a single The first single is doing, you know, getting some attention doesn't mean that, oh, the album is a success. We still have to make sure that we get the word out, get the word out about the whole album, Um, continue to do promotions and marketing and publicity and all that stuff, making appearances, doing radio interviews. I would love to do radio interviews. So, yes, there's still a, a lot of work to do, but at least I can say that we are off to a good start and it feels good to be off to this kind of good start. All right, guys, so thanks for watching this episode of Making of the Self-Affirmation Project. Hashtag Radio Airplay. Hashtag Self-Affirmation Project. All right, guys. Bye.